the 11th birthday, Harry dear. Now finish your butter beer. I'll go purchase the books you need for first years. Thank you, Mrs. Weasley. Mm -hmm. uh, quick question before you go. Yes, Harry dear. Do you know when I'll get to meet the headmaster? You know, Albus Dumbledore? Soon enough, Harry dear, soon enough. <laughs> Say the prance and pony's gone downhill. Can I help you, sir? I doubt it. I'm looking for a very short person who lives with his uncle and carries a great burden. Is this great burden the result of a dark lord? A dark lord who once had extreme power but lost it all? And currently resides in spirit form until it can be brought back? <gasps> it's you! <laughs> It's an honor, sir. Wait, I have to be absolutely certain. Describe your best friend to me. Uh, shaggy red hair, lives in a burrow, and what he lacks in intelligence, he makes up for in loyalty. That's the one! <laughs> now, getting back to the, uh, you know what. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it secret? Is it safe? Uh, not really. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it. Fall of a talk! Uh, you must destroy it! How? I've tried everything. Neutrogena, proactive. <laughs> Dove moisturizer. Might want to try something a little stronger. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's him. Who? That man with the long blonde hair who thinks he's better than everyone else. I think his name is Lucius. Actually, it's pronounced Legolas. <laughs> But you're right. He's very pretentious. Yes, and he's obsessed with blood. I know. Yesterday he was like, a red sun rises, blood has been spilt. And I was like, cut the riddles, man. Just say people died here. Where are you, sir? Dobby wants to give you another glass of butter beer. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It's that tortured and sympathetic bald creature who's both a help and a hindrance to me. Does he speak entirely in the third person? Bad Dobby! Exactly. He's a little bit obsessed with me, probably because I'm a pretty well-known wizard. <laughs> You're a what? Hey, look, everyone. It's Frodo the Grey. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> but an eight-foot-tall giant named Hagrid told me I was. Have you been eating Farmer Brown's mushrooms again? <laughs> No, sir. I, I just... Oh, no, sir. It's one of them. Cast the Patronus. Yes, one of the nine. They are drawn to it. And they will not rest until they... Kiss me. Yes, I know, sir. They're obsessed with kissing. <laughs> so you have been eating those mushrooms. <laughs> oh, good heavens! They are obsessed with kissing! Buy me dinner first, you dragon-riding Nazgul freak! Oh! That was brilliant, Dumbledore. Dumbledore? Peekaboo! <laughs> Why, Gandalf, you look confused. Uh, no, he's not. I'm fairly certain we're on the same page. Allow me to demonstrate. I will describe someone and you tell me who you think it is. All right. Okay. Skinny, long-haired, threatening person who ends up being good. Aragorn. Snape. <laughs> Mischievous comic relief duo always playing with fireworks. Mary and Pippin. Fred and George. <laughs> Giant spider. Sheila. Aragog. <laughs> Crazy, short, brown-haired person always trying to prove to everyone how great they are. Gimli. Hermione. <laughs> Evil, power-hungry assistant. Worm. Worm. Tail. What? <laughs> you seriously have a different bad guy with worm in his name? Uh, ah! Oi! You're gonna pay for that, mate. <laughs> That's my cue to leave. You can't get out of everything that way, Gandalf. This is the weirdest looking eagle I've ever seen. It's a hippogriff. Dang it! <laughs> Thank you for watching Studio C. 
Comment below on any other similarities you see between Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. For example, Luna Lovegood is basically Galadriel. And Mrs. Umbridge is basically the Balrog. So, that's pretty fun. Go ahead and subscribe too. Or I'll have a cadaver, you butts.